Well, hey there, fellas. It's Santine Potato here, and welcome to my Google Pixel 7 review. And if you guys don't know what the Google Pixel 7 is, it is Google's latest offering, like, in their smartphone industry. Now, Google's done a whole bunch of tech products, from, uh, the Chromecast to, you know, the Pixel phones, which this is the newest generation right here, all the way to, uh, they have Pixel Buds, and I think a couple other things, but don't quote me on that. Um, but... Let's get some of the good things on this phone out of the way first. One of the good things is the 4K front-facing camera. That's right, this is a front-facing camera, and it's 60 FPS. Another good thing, the rear camera's pretty good too. Now I'd show you footage, but I'm just recording this from the front-facing camera, and you can't reverse the uh, cameras when you're recording, which is kind of a dumb thing to me, but hey, you know. Anyways, good things. Uh, other than the front-facing camera, another good thing is that this display is really, really good. Like, you, if you were to compare this to any other phone display I've had, and even a lot of budget, uh, like, uh, you know, TV and whatnot displays, like, you'd realize, oh crap, this is actually pretty good. And let's just compare. This picture you are seeing right now is better than this on the security system. Again, and look at how quickly this uh, camera just, you know, adjusts back to regular light. And when it comes to pictures, this thing also takes really, really good pictures. Doesn't matter if it's a uh, selfie or a, uh, you know, just regular shot out, like from the rear cameras. It is fantastic. Also, another good thing. This phone has actually shockingly good gaming performance. And the reason I say it's shockingly good is because I got this phone for about, <coughs> sorry, for about $300, if I'm remembering right. Brand spanking new. Again, $300 for a Google Pixel 7. I'm not complaining. Like, this is a very, very good phone. Like, I mostly use it to read, but I do occasionally use it to game or watch videos and all that. And this does that really well. And even with picture-in-picture, picture, this thing works extremely well still without even a hint of slowdown. Like, if you're looking for a good budget phone, I say budget, but if you're looking for a good mid-range or any of that phone, the Google Pixel 7 is the phone for you. Um, let's see other things. Yeah, actually, let's get on to the bad now that all the good's out of the way. Some of the bad things, the screen ranges from unresponsive to uh, may as well be unresponsive at times but other times the screen works really really good and I'm not sure if it's an issue of the uh, high refresh rate 90 Hertz or what but like you can switch between 90 and 60 Hertz I keep this at 90 Hertz because otherwise this thing gives me motion sickness which is interesting because I don't have motion sickness so yeah that's someone to look out for another thing there's no SD card slot, so if you want to expand your storage, you're kind of shit out of luck. Another massive issue I have with the Pixel 7 is the Bluetooth functionality. It ranges from not working to working incredibly well, and most of the time it ranges towards not working. Which is a shame, but it's also completely unsurprising. Like I said, I have a lot of issues with this phone. I mean, I'm not complaining because shit, a good, like a cheap phone, especially for what I needed for, which is a little bit of emulation, but, uh, sorry, but mostly for reading, like, then this works perfectly fine for reading, but like, you gotta use it to, you know, to do your passcode and all that on this, and it may work, but it may not work either, because, uh, yeah, like I said, there are times when it will not register your, uh, touches on the screen, which is fun, to say the least. And this phone will do the same thing uh, when you're just, you know, here, like, just on the regular screen, not even on the lock screen. You may be wondering, though. Alright, what are those peep noises and whatnot? And, well, you're fine, guys. Look, ducks! I'm not gonna harm you guys. You guys know that. Yeah, I gotta clean out their water. I know I'm gonna be doing that after I record this. Or after I finish recording this. But, hey, ducks! But again, just switches without any issue. Like, again, what a really, like, decent camera. But anyways, again, to the bad, other things this thing has. Very, 
like, inconsistent performance at times. Like, I have had to restart this, like, a couple of times just to get things to work. And there are times, I'm not sure if it's the internet or the phone, the internet will just randomly cut out despite saying, Oh yeah, you're connected to the internet. And it will just randomly disconnect. Now thankfully, you know, what I'm reading doesn't require an internet connection for the most part, so I don't have to worry about that. But like, if you have an extremely unreliable internet connection like I do, that can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you don't have access to a desktop. If you don't have access to uh, an old game console, books, or any of that. Like, if you don't have access to that shit, um, you're kind of shit out of luck a lot of the time when the internet goes out. Because when, when this thing, like, has its internet go out, it, it causes issues, which is a shame. And I'm not sure if it's the phone itself or what, but it sure does suck. So, yeah. Like, and I'm not sure why, you know, this thing has those issues, because, like, it's a great, like, other than the issues I mentioned, it's actually a great phone. Like, I was playing some Mario Kart Double Dash, legal dump, don't worry, I ain't about to pirate. Anyways, yes, yeah, so playing some Mario Kart Double Dash, and I was having no problems, really good performance. But it's like, you know, just, ugh, man, you know? <laughs> just so many damn issues with this phone. Like, I, like, if you're looking for a mid-range phone, I can almost recommend this, but the reason I say almost recommend this is because, you know, just there's too many issues. Like, I had less issues when it came to screen responsiveness and whatnot with my dead Galaxy A13 5G. Well, I say dead, but just shut off, put in storage because the thing decided, oh yeah, I'm not going to, uh, work right. And also, you know, I got the new phone, so I didn't really have to worry about the new or about the old A13. But man, what a, that A13 just still irks me. You may be wondering though, alright, why are you reviewing this phone and walking around the house? But that is to show you just how well this adjusts to low light conditions. Like, look at that. And again, just look at how well this adjusts to the uh, low light conditions, or even higher light conditions, but again, in natural light, this adapts extremely well. And again, this is 60 frames per second, so this is, like, really good. Again, 4K 60, like, this is better than, like, anything the old phone did when it came to that, but the old phone, like I said, had a lot of issues. Like, if I had to give this phone a rating, though, like, I could just ramble on and on all day about this phone. If I had to give this phone a, uh, review... I'd give this a uh, 6 out of 10. Like, I can only just recommend this. Because there's, like I said, a lot of issues. So, you know, exercise caution when you're purchasing phones. But that's just common no or common sense. But still, either way, uh, night. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.